you know, if you're not here, it really is hard to describe just what kind of an experience this is. I mean, even the video really just doesn't capture it very well. So I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning on my own, no alarm. The moon woke me up. It rose above the horizon, followed by the morning star, otherwise known as Venus. <laughs> and then a couple hours later, the sun rose. I woke up, made my coffee. Epicurus would not approve of that. <laughs> and stared at the stars. And out here, it's not an official dark sky park, but it's, it's close. Out here, you can see lots of stars. And it's really interesting, you know, the, the, the sun rose followed by the morning star and in the same, roughly the same place, the sun rose. And you start to notice these patterns in the universe. Now Epicurus says that's all you need. Some friends, some food, some shelter, and the wonder of reality. And I'm not saying you have to disagree with them. I'm not. No, excuse me. I'm not saying you have to agree with them. I'm not saying you have to. But if you don't agree with him, well, what does that mean? Well, for starters, as we just discussed, you don't get to decide what the bare minimum you need is. All right, that, that's just built into reality. You can try it if you like. Go ahead and try to do it without air. It's not going to last very long. And, and don't do it in a closed chamber. Right? Just try and hold your breath, please. <laughs> if you absolutely must try it. Because, um, you know, don't try it. Never mind, don't try it. Uh, you absolutely need water. You can try to go without water, it's not going to do any good. You can absolutely need food and nutrients. You absolutely need these things. And you don't get to abandon that. And, and, and by the way, more and more research shows that you need this. It's 20 or so minutes a week spent out amongst something green. And will help fend off depression. Tranquility is necessary. All right? You live a life that's nothing, nothing, nothing but stimulus, nothing, nothing, nothing but excitement. And that's going to break down your nervous system. More and more you know, places, including schools, are uh, having regular mindfulness sessions, right? Where you kind of center yourself, you, uh, you know, enter this you know, meditative state trying to, well, achieve tranquility. So you really absolutely need tranquility. That much you probably can't disagree with Epicurus about. You can't just decide, I'm going to live a life of pure excitement and adrenaline and rush all the time. Mm. So if you decide to disagree with Epicurus about something else, it's going to be that, well, that's not all that I'm going to go for, right? I'm going to, what's worth pursuing is more than just tranquility. I'll, I'll work on tranquility, sure. I'll do my best to achieve it when it's necessary. But beyond that, right, I need to pursue something else. Okay. I mean, for what it's worth, right, by our standards, a two-bedroom apartment with three friends, part-time job, checking out books in the library, discussing the nature of reality. A lot of people would consider that like being a bum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're just you're just being lazy. By the way, it's pretty. It, it takes a lot of work to think about the nature of the universe. Right? It's not necessarily industrious, but it, it takes work. So, if you're going to disagree with Epicurus and say I, I'm going to pursue something further, I, I guess you could do that. Right. Now, we ask the question of whether you get to decide what's necessary or you have to discover what's necessary, right? That, that's a part of the fabric of reality. Okay, sure looks like it. Well, I, I bet you the same thing is true about whatever else you decide to pursue further, 
right? It better, you know, you don't get to decide what's worthwhile outside of the necessary desires. You have to discover it. I mean, if it, if it, you know, if you could just decide this, right? Say, well, I'm, I'm going to decide what's going to bring me this, you know, this happiness, this pleasure, this you know, fulfillment in my life. Uh, I'm going to decide to do that. Well, okay, it, 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 and then it's going to work. It's like, okay, if that, that really is going to do it, then, you know, just decide to, you know, pursue your necessary desires and, I don't know, collect the world's largest ball of string. Or not even the world's largest. I'm just going to collect string. That's going to make me happy. If all, if, if all there is to your happiness, your pleasure, your contentment, your fulfillment is your mere decision, then go for the simplest thing possible. That's the winning strategy, right? Simplest thing possible... And hey, now you're happy. It doesn't work that way, does it? So, you know, you're going to have to discover if there is something out there that's going to bring you pleasure, right? You know, you know, leaving aside Epicurus, we're looking at something further. If there's something out there that's going to bring you this pleasure, this happiness, this fulfillment, this contentment, you're going to have to discover it. You don't get to just merely decide. So you can pursue, right, if you disagree with the Epicurus, you can pursue something further. But here's the thing. You know, here's the thing. You can decide to pursue something further. But you better be right. Because you're going to spend your life on something. You better have a really good idea of what that is. Because this much Epicurus is right about. You don't have a limitless amount of life. So, you want to pursue something more above and beyond the necessary desires? Okay. But whatever it is you decide to pursue, you better be right.